Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, what's happening? Let me see who are all here. Hi, Pranjal. I do remember. So, guys, welcome to the session. So, we are going today. We are going to deal with a place uh, which many of you would not have been to. In fact, how many of you have been to typical villages? Or how many of you are from villages? Can you answer me? Come on, come on, come on. We need to be fast. Hi, Arushi. Hi, Shivan. Arnav. Many more happy returns of the Rebita. May God bless you. Meenakshi has been to. <clears throat> So many of you are, have been to, many of you have not been to. This particular chapter is all about how is life in a village. What are different types of people, how do they earn their living, etc. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to take you to a village and tell you what happens there. How do people live? All right. So what are their sources for livelihoods? Everything. So be ready. We will just wait for a few uh, seconds more. Allow it to allow more people to join and then we will kick start. <clears throat> Pratyaksha visited many villages. Good, good, good. I am from a village. You know that? <coughs> hmm. From village uh, which got shifted to cities. All right, Manat, hi, hi, hi. Okay, guys. So, hi, Dolce. Lovely. Hi, Arnesha. Let's start. Okay. So, guys, I hope all of you are aware. Vedantu Young Wonder, this channel is for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. Right? Typically, we have both academic offerings and non-academic offerings. Academically, math, science, social, and English grammar is what we focus on. Non-academically, we have multiple series. Series on space, general knowledge, uh, how does it work? We also have a series on uh, what do we call uh, uh, you know do's and don'ts of math, silly mistakes, right? To how to avoid them. So lovely channel, guys. Please do subscribe. Okay. Vijit is saying there are buffaloes in villages. <laughs> hmm. In case you want to learn from us personally, you like the master teachers of Vedantu, the way they handle the sessions and you love uh, learning, having fun learning from them, please, you know, there is a link attached to the description box. That link contains uh, details of a subscription, a subscription which will give you unlimited live classes. You will enjoy all of them with a lot of quizzes. The subs a subscription which can make you very strong, a subscription which has replays, which you can always, you know, play again and again and again as and when you want it. And you can download a subscription which gives a feature to download the notes given by teachers in the sessions. And inside the class, you will also be allowed to take n number of uh, doubts to be solved. And periodical tests and assignments. Interesting? Pratyaksha, Vipachala will happen in weekends, beta, not now. Okay. So it's a great initiator which Vedanta Young Wonders is trying. So you guys need to give your, what, do you, what can I say, uh, support to it, okay? Right, now, along with that, you have 5,000 plus micro courses. You, what, what are micro courses? Typically courses which will have topic wise, chapter wise, you know, modules. And if you are preparing for competitive exams, you also have an option to access free crash courses. Everything bundled in one subscription. Lot of classes, very less price. So the details are there in the description box. Click on the link in the description and go through the features and to get an additional discount. Guys, one class for a three month subscription costs only around, uh, say what, uh, nine rupees or so. Amazing, right? So to add to that, you can get a discount by using this coupon code SRPRO. <clears throat> yeah, 
villages have a lot of good things very less bad things even whatever bad things you see they were not man made all right so you should also understand that so guys i think i spoke about it one class for a 3 month subscription is just 9 rupees visit the link in the description make use of it the coupon code is srpro now what are we going to deal with we will see a lot of villages in fact two two villages typically kalpa to pudupet both we will see kalpa to village we will speak about it where is it it is in the sea side of tamil nadu it's along the coast and you will also see what type of farmers what did they do how do they earn a living you will also speak about pudupet pudupet is again you know a sea side uh, village uh, <clears throat> how do people live there so we will speak about the life routine the lifestyle livelihood of people in the villages right okay let's see let's get into kalpa to you guys ready come on give me a yo chesta 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 yes chesta my apologies to you all right uh, i prepared it could not send it you i will ensure that it is uh, sent it immediately okay sorry about that it was my bad frankly you know too many things were happening i just missed it now good good that you reminded me hi shorya oh you have revised today's topic lovely lovely to see that okay kalpa to village guys i told you it's a seaside village in tamil nadu and people do different kinds of work there and both farming as well as non farming work goes on there so since it generally you will see seaside coast all right less of farming will happen there is a reason for that seaside coast you will see uh, villages or areas close to sea they do very less farming they are involved more in ag, you know fishing etc now so what kind of non farming work happens they make baskets utensils more of craftsmen they are pots bricks bullock carts etc in kalpatu all right now what are the occupations apart from this all right people have different professions they were uh, blacksmiths teachers washermen weavers barbers multiple people and this happens in all villages right naturally so no exception to kalpatu now what kind of shops are there you have grocery stores tea shops all normal barber shops clothing uh, tailors fertilizers sheet shops etc all right so now that means what are we trying to understand through this these two slides it's a normal this is how normal life happens in a village nothing out you know extraordinary you will see a normal routine people are very very normal and casual all right and the moment we see villages it is not just agriculture which alone happens as you can clearly see every village has a mix of all professions all right but agriculture will always be more look at this the village is surrounded by low hills paddy is the main crop that is irrigated and cultivated and most of the families earn a living through agriculture so agriculture is more but other professions are also there which you can clearly see and apart from this you also have a few coconut groves cotton sugar cane plantation but small you know less in less quantities are grown and you also have mango orchards generally guys because um, you know you will see a lot of uh, uh, you know orchards in villages and all grape mango soil we do not know soil is always fertile in those places preserved and fertile right now thank you mihika welcome to vedant young wonders blur sir blur what do i do farmers so guys farmers there are two types of people farmers who own the land farmers who work on the land but both of them depend on farming so big farmers they have their own land and uh, you know 
they take the help of others along with them to cultivate things and whatever products they produce they sell it in the market however there are there are other types of people who depend on forest animal husbandry like uh, you know <coughs> uh, cattle all right and related products also poultry products dairy produce fishing etc so there are two categories of people who are so agriculture is not just farming right even fishing comes under agriculture cool so in india you see out of five almost 40% of families are involved in agriculture labor families to be frank directly and indirectly put together almost 60% of people in india are directly or indirectly involved with agriculture so members of these families they work either on you know generally they work on someone else fields only 20% of indian farmers have their own lands they are rich etc 80% of the farmers they either lease the land or work in someone else land guys i want you to note down all the data points so that you don't miss out when quiz question comes clear cool look at it life of a women farmer so woman there is a woman called tulasi she works in the farmland of a land owner called ramalingam and what does she do she transplants paddy weeding that is weeding is removing all the unnecessary crops right taking them out weeding and harvesting and every day her daily wage is 40 rupees and apart from this she also does household work like cooking cleaning washing clothes etc right so she works on fields she gets 40 rupees every day she also does household tasks cooking cleaning and washing beta hi kashish how are you now one very important thing i want all of you to remember is most of the farmers <clears throat> uh india is a country where farmers depend a lot on rain and there are two major problems with respect to rain in india you know what is that we always tend to have unequal rain either you will have floods too much of rain or droughts very very less rain okay because of which you will see farmers when they you know sow the seeds wait for the rain right for uh, irrigation floods or drought they disturb them because farmers generally even to buy seeds they take debts they take loans and suddenly when monsoon fails or floods come they can they are not able to return the loan there are so many farmers who have a lot of stress you would have heard about farmer farmers you know losing their own lives for this right it is all typically because uh india is you know our country is one where a lot of farmers depend on rain when rain comes in equal amounts they are happy hi rok okay hi abhijit awesome orchards are like uh, a huge garden you can take <clears throat> but it is only you will have only one which is either apples or uh, grapes or mangoes all right orchards are like mango farms a farm for mangoes a farm for farm for apples they are such uh, you know a setup is called orchards they are called orchards now coming to pudupet pudupet is another seaside uh, village people here majority of the people live by fishing and they use that you know very slim wooden boat you call them as catamarans correct catamarans so they return they return to the coast with their catch and sell the fishes in the market 
and again fishermen also take loans from banks to purchase nets engines catamarans itself so guys overall if you look at it farmers take a lot of load the life of a farmer it has a lot of stress if at all farmer are people people who give us food to eat they aren't happy most of them in fact i wouldn't say all of them most of them are not that happy they are in different kinds of stressful situations akilesh it's a typical legal issue if someone adopts a farmland obviously there will be conflicts right now coming to rural livelihoods which is the context of the session so the point is people in villages do different things to live but majority of them live through uh, agriculture but there are a lot of people who also do non farming works like map baking uh, you know baskets uh, pottery all right different different blacksmiths different type of people so people are also very very busy throughout you will not see people in villages relaxing all the time they are very very you know uh, what do you call uh, brisk all the time cool so they you know rural people different regions of the country depending on the nature of the soil they grow different crops and once the harvesting is done they go ahead and sell the products in the market some sell it directly or some sell it to traders from whom they got loans clear so many families borrow money for their work especially guys when there is no work or when there is no rain and all again and again they take a lot of loans this is what leads to all the trouble in their lives most small farmers laborers fishermen all of them they will not get enough work throughout the year so to live to sustain to survive they keep taking loans this is the sad part of it are you clear till this hi kashesh afroz khan wishing you many many more happy returns of the day beta god bless you my dear kids are you clear till this very simple right lives of farmers depend on multiple things we can't say farm villages will be like this only villages only do agriculture not really most of them do agriculture but you also see people doing multiple other things as well making baskets pottery blacksmiths all right so multiple even bullock carts however you see that they are if at all you ask all all the villagers very happy even if they have less money still they try to be happy that's also their point but the actual fact is they take a lot of loans because uh, you know they don't get the support that they require especially from uh, you know in the form of rain as when they, whenever they do agriculture right cool so guys are we are you guys ready for a menti that's the reason governments are making you know even electricity is free so many schemes they come out with still it's not enough guys something more needs to be done see because there is a huge difference between how life happens in a city and how life happens in a village all right why should uh, you know villages be uh, so backward when it comes to technology correct we should not differentiate like this at all that's the point right guys moving on to a menti now i want all of you to open a website called www first open your browser type www menti.com m e n t i
mini car that is the problem right when they guys it is such a small chapter for this also you want recap okay since you guys asked guys kalpa 2 is one example that we took right so there you have both farming and non farming work non farming work is making baskets utensils pots bullock carts etc people are also involved in different professions and when it comes to shops you have all types of shops small small shops all of them tea shops grocery shops barber shops tailors fertilizers seed shops etc and on the other side you also have agriculture happening all right paddy is the main crop cotton sugar cane plantation mango orchards are also there typically farmers work in someone else lands or but all of them depend on farming big farmers they have their own lands and they sell their products other generally other farmers they rely a lot on uh, poultry products that is animal husbandry fishing etc in india 40% of people are agricultural laborers and uh, the members of these families they work on someone else farm to earn a living 80% of farmers are live like this only 20% of farmers are rich so life of a women farmer tulasi is an example she works in the farm of ramalingam she does things like transplanting paddy weeding taking out unnecessary crops harvesting etc <coughs> 40 rupees is a daily wage she does stuff like cooking apart from that household work like cooking cleaning washing clothes so one very important thing we need to notice farmers are in debts because suddenly you know the monsoon is not happening enough rain does not happen all their investment go in vain all right and they had to take loans to survive and again sometimes even to buy seeds or to take care of their land they have to take loans again once again another village is pudupet typically people do a lot of fishing here because it's seaside catamarans or right? catamarans are wooden boats as you see right so they go inside the sea to catch fishes come back and sell them even fishermen takes a take a lot of uh, loans from banks okay to buy catamarans nets and engines so rural livelihood life of a person in a village typically the it, it happens in different ways they do both farming or non farming works people are busy in agriculture stuff like sowing harvesting but not throughout the year you will always see people who are free multiple times and uh, whoever is doing you know agriculture and harvesting they sell it to directly to the market or sell it to traders from whom they talk they took the loans many families borrow money because work will not be available throughout the year and uh, this is the case with farmers agricultural laborers fishermen crafts persons etc so oh, i hope all of you are ready <coughs> guys the code for today's menti is 2505904 i repeat 25 when they cannot pay they are being you know obviously being uh, dealt with very toughly by people who give the loans farmers are all people with a lot of self respect guys that's why they somehow try to repay it Guys, I hope all of you have gone to menti.com. Type the code two five zero five nine zero four. Chapter is pretty small one. Akile, you will have seven questions. Be ready. Akile, how many? rupees farmer has to buy i can't tell you exactly but i can tell you one thing whatever price is available paddy is available in the market farmer gets not even half of that
Okay, guys, 15 more seconds. First question will be there on your screens. Okay, someone saying, sir, I want to join the Mitra. All you have to do is open your browser. In the address bar, type T, T for Tiger, T dot M-E, T dot me slash Vedantu Junior. It will take you into our Telegram group. Okay? I repeat, T dot M-E slash Vedantu Junior. Guys, refreshing now for all of you. Then I'm going to start. Be ready. Okay, first question on your screens. Now, here it comes. Saklain, of course it's live class. In which state Kalpatu is located? The village. Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh. Tamil Nadu, yes, coastline village of Tamil Nadu. So, Bir Pratap, Sreni, Manjal, Agent, Manas, Top 5, Gautam, Agrani, Shres, Naivedya and Bilvesh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, question number 2 for all of you. Here we go. Supreet, I have just refreshed. The majority of rural Indians engage in dash to earn a living. Services, farming, non-farming, none of these. Majority of rural Indians engage in dash. What? Which profession? Service related, farming, non-farming, none of these. Good, farming. Almost all of you got it bang on. So now, Srenek, Manas, Shreya, Earthman and Arush, top 5. Diksha, Ajinkya, Tarun, 2505904, Teshta. Good. Question number three for all of you. Here it go. Guys, here we go. What is the percentage of large farmers? Large farmers. Farmers who own land. Twenty percent, guys. How many of you chose twenty percent? Large farmers, guys. Come on, look. Read questions very carefully. All right, large farmers. Only twenty percent of farmers they have their own land. Correct. Shrenek, Shreya. Looks like no. Earthman is at number 2. No, Tarun is at number 2. Wow. Shrenik, Tarun, Earthman, Shreya and Arush. Top 5. 25 Ajinkya, Chesta, Arushi and Vriddhi. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, question number 4. Here it comes. Mitra, it is T.me slash Vedantu Junior without space. Here we go, question number four.
the daily earning of tulasi is 60 50 40 or 70 rupees which one is the right one we are three sisters code is 25059042505904 so guys 40 rupees almost all of you got it right awesome that's like my boys and girls now Shrenik mm. wow at the top followed by Tarun, Earthman, Shreya, Arush top 5 25, Chesta, Arushi, Ajinkya, Shurbi 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 question number 5 here we go what is the main crop of the village Kalpatu? paddy, wheat, sweet corn, sugar cane main crop look out watch out for the keywords guys Sakshi Gupta my name is Sundar Rabindranathan Paddy how many of you chose Paddy let me see mm, awesome most of you lovely so what? Now we are Shrenek, Tarun, Earthman, Shreya and Arush. Shami, Chesta, Ajinkya, Surbi and Sahiti. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hi Suhani, many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Drishti, welcome back. Guys, sixth question. One more to go after this. Which land feature is surrounded by the village? Kalpatu surrounded by what? High mountains, low hills, rivers, lakes. Which one? Which landmass? What kind of, what type of landmass? High mountains, low hills, rivers, lakes. Others, many more happy returns of the day, beta. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Have a blast. Low hills. Mm. You guys sometimes become very imaginative and choose high mountain, rivers and all. We never sp spoke about one, right? Did we? So, only one more question. We are getting into the final question. Before that, the leaderboard says, Srenik is still at the top, followed by Tarun, <clears throat> Earthman, Shreya and Arush, top 5 Shami, Chesta, Surbi, Ajinkya and Arush <clears throat> Here we go Final question for this session Guys, by the way When will you use neither? When will you use either? When will you use both? Right? There is a very crisp session about this particular concept exactly at 8 p.m. today don't miss it join me at 8 p.m. a lovely English grammar session on usage of neither either or both cool so join me at 8 p.m. guys here we go with the final question <coughs> Gargi please tell me what's your question yes Piyush I do teach English Giving water to the crop. <laughs> giving water. So you see, look at the wording. Giving water to the crop is called what? Weeding, harvesting, planting, irrigation. Simple, right? Simple, simple, simple. So. <coughs> hmm. Irrigation. Okay, watering the crops is what we call irrigation. So, who's going to win? Is it Shrenik? Looks like it. Yes, it is. 
My dear Sweeney, congratulations and Tarun, Shreya, Arur, Sami, congratulations to all of you as well. Shri of Shivanshi, Surbi, Sami, Arush, Sri Ram. Kudos to all of you. Guys, everyone in the leaderboard, many, many congratulations. And uh, there would be a lot of you who would have got all answers correct, but could not enter the leaderboard. It's okay. You guys are also winners, guys. Th that's how I would look at it. Do not worry about, all right, only these 10 slots. You guys are also invisible winners. Congratulations to all of you. Guys, I hope you liked the session and it was informative. Hit the like button and let me know you liked it. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and enable the bell icon. And yes, I will be there at 8 p.m. Until I meet you at 8 p.m., this is myself, Sundar Rabindranathan, signing off guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <coughs>